Hello. Uh, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of CAN bus operation uh, with the Yahweh R4850 G2 power supply. As you can see, I have a meter connected to, between the plus and minus connections, and you can see the red and black wires that go over to my CAN bus adapter to USB on my laptop. So we're gonna attempt to control this device. And of course, I spared no expense on the quality of the meter I'm using here to measure the output voltage. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is go boot it up. I have it plugged into a power strip here. So let's start it. So we're booting up. And let's look at the default voltage that it boots to. It's 53.5 volts. Okay, 53 and a half volts. I'm gonna start the software that I use to control the CAN bus. And let's open the port, open the COM port. And get this started. We can start to see all the feedback from uh, the power supply coming up here. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to send a command that will change the voltage to like 58 and a half volts output. So I'm gonna send that frame. Now let's watch what happens, 58 and a half. So now I'm gonna send it back to where it was. Now keep in mind these frames that I am sending are while the unit is operating. These are not default values for boot back to 53 and a half. Now one thing that is interesting about this is I can send these, but they won't stay there indefinitely. If I send that, it'll go up to 58 and a half, but I would have to continually send that if that was uh, the voltage that I wanted it to stay at. And after about a minute, I believe, it's gonna go back to the default, uh, which is what it booted at. But let's look at the frames I've got set up in here so far. The top two are frames that I just sent. That was a 53 and a half, that's a 58 and a half. The next two, you'll notice these last two bytes are identical to those two, but these are default boot voltages. So I can have it boot at 58 and a half if I want, but right now it's set to 53 and a half. The last two are current limiting. So let's, uh, let's see what happens here after about a minute. We're at 58 and a half. There it goes. So one minute has passed and it went back to the default boot voltage. If I had continually sent uh, the higher voltage, it would have stayed there. But for most people, they're gonna want to, uh, to set, set it and leave it. They'll use this right here just to set it and leave it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set it for the 58 and a half volts, which is the E916. And I'll explain that in a bit. I'm gonna send that to it. Notice nothing changed but I did change the default boot voltage. So let's test that. Let's go back to my power strip here. It's uh, killed the power supply. And let's bring it back up. I've changed the default to where it should come up at 58 and a half volts. What do you know? It did. So for the most part, people are going to use this interface right here just to set the defaults that they want. And that way when it, it will boot in uh, to the defaults. Um, this particular uh, adapter that I got, I got off of uh, Amazon. I'll, uh, I'll put a link on, on that. And it does come with software, which is what I'm running right here. It's really easy to use. Uh, it might look kind of rough, but it's easy to use. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll add some more uh, things to this video in the future. Thank you.